Here's a step-by-step -step guide for using the page buttons within the Family History Book Editor. Your book pages will default to this layout when creating a new or opening an existing project. You can see the cover and then the thumbnails along the bottom of the page spread. You can use the arrow on the right or left-hand side to scroll through pages. You can also select directly from the thumbnails by using the blue slider on the bottom of the screen and clicking on a page. If you'd like to hide the thumbnails to more clearly see your pages, simply click the Hide Thumbnails button. You can show them at any time by clicking the Show Thumbnails button as well. When previewing the pages in your Ancestry Family History book, the preview will show the Edit, Add, Clone, Move, and Delete buttons at the bottom of each page. These buttons can be used when customizing your book. To continue editing an existing page, click on the Edit button. You will then be taken into the Page Editor. Selecting Done in the upper right-hand corner will bring you back to the book page preview. To clone an existing page for easy duplication and customization, select the Clone button. A newly cloned page will appear right after the page you're on. Click the Add button to add a blank page to customize with stories, fun family facts, photo collages, and more. A newly added page will appear on the page you click the button for and will bump the existing page one page later in your book. Click the Move button to move any page. You can select the page number to which you want to move the page from the Move Page Number box. Once you've selected the new page number, click on the blue Move Page button. You can see the blank page has been moved from page 10 to page 11. And finally, Click the Delete button to delete any page. Please remember that deleted pages cannot be recovered and you must confirm your choice to make super certain you'd like to remove that page.